Are you disconnected from your patience, stillness, and compassion? Are you feeling scattered and unsteady? If so, this Hatha Yoga class is for you. Hi, I'm Melissa with Yoga with Melissa. This is real yoga for real people. Yoga you can do so you can feel better and move better and connect with your true nature. In a culture that wants us to do more, be more, and consume more, we bring self-awareness and self-acceptance to ourselves, our relationships, and the earth we inhabit. I put out a new full yoga class every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific. So if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you enjoy the teachings, then press the like button and let me know what you like about them in the comments. And if you're feeling extra stressed and overwhelmed right now, and you find the spoken teachings overwhelming right now, then feel free to press the mute button and just follow along visually for now. Today we're going to be doing a Hatha Yoga class to cultivate calm and steadiness. And we're going to do this in a way that just scratches the surface today. And if you'd like to know more about how to do this in a more in-depth and intimate way, stay tuned all the way to the end and I will tell you how to do that. I have a testimonial for you today from Sonia from YouTube on episode 373 on Ahimsa. She says, thank you once again, Melissa. After a day at work that left me feeling frustrated and annoyed, I came away from my mat with a sense of perspective and calmness that eased my body and mind. I left the tension and anger behind, able to move forward with ease, both physically and mentally. So thank you, Sonia, and thank you to all of you who take the time to leave your comments on YouTube and iTunes and Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, my website, and as always, the most in-depth conversations are happening in our membership community. I want to thank Squeeze Yoga Clothing for my clothes today. Today I'm wearing a new pair of yoga pants. Um, they're green with, uh, I think this is a tree, the tree of life maybe on them. And I'm also wearing a gray bra cami with an ohm symbol on it, bamboo. And I want to thank Dusky Leaf for my props. Today you're going to need a blocks and a strap and also either a folded blanket or a meditation cushion to sit on. We're going to come together with our peace mantra to begin. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahano Bunaktu Sahaviryam Karvavahe Tejasvina Vadita Mastu Mavidvishavahe Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. That mantra means protect us together, student and teacher. May our studies nourish us together. May our time together be luminous and purposeful. May we come together in harmony. May we have peace together. Peace, peace, peace be unto all. I'm going to begin lying down on your backs for our guided relaxation. I'm going to have some water because my voice is still very tired today. If you have any low back issues, you're going to lie with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Otherwise, you can lengthen your legs out long. You may want to place your hands on your belly or your palms up beside you. You're going to begin by feeling your connection to the earth underneath you. Thank you. 
And then begin to feel the steadiness in your body. Just sink into your body. And connect with what is present, the physical sensations in your body, your thoughts, your emotions. How you're feeling energetically today. The support of the earth underneath you. Our habit of wanting to be somewhere else is strong. And it takes an ocean of patience to feel the steadiness and calmness of the earth underneath you. Begin to form an intention for what it is you'd like to receive from your yoga practice today. What is it that you're trying to create, sustain, let go of, or rebirth in your life? And how can your yoga practice help you to do that? And then you're going to need your strap and you're going to take your strap and place it around your, you know, we always start with our right foot. So let's start with our left foot today. You want to place the strap under the ball of your left foot. And if you have any low back problems, you're going to keep your right leg bent. and extend your left leg in the air. Draw your left leg in until you feel something happening on the back of your left leg. Relax your shoulders. Let your right hip be heavy and open your left leg out to the side.
And then draw up to your pelvic floor, draw your navel back to your spine, and bring your leg back to your midline. And you're going to cross your leg over your body as well, keeping your hips on the floor so you feel sensational along the outside of your leg. Keep drawing your left leg into your body. And then come back center. You're going to unhook your foot and lower your left leg down. Pause there and feel the effects of the first side. So often when we come to practice, we notice how disconnected and scattered we really are. And it can be quite frustrating to feel the ongoing spasming of our attention. Let's go ahead and hook up our right leg now. Draw your right leg in. Keep your shoulders heavy on the ground, space between your teeth, tongue floating in your mouth. If you have any low back issues, you're going to bend your left knee. And then keep your left hip heavy on the ground. Open your right leg out to the side. You want to feel the sensation in the belly of your inner thigh muscle, not in your knee joint. And then draw your right leg back to the center. Keep drawing it in towards your body and cross your right leg over the midline. Keep your hips on the ground, feeling the sensation along the outside of your leg. And then come back to the center. You're going to slowly lower your right leg down now. Pause here, put your strap off to the side. Feel the support of the earth underneath you. Feel the effect of the practice. And with gentle, calm, and steady attention, without force or coercion, we settle into the ground and feel the steadiness of the earth underneath you. So you're going to bend your knees, roll to your right side and come up to all fours for cat pose.
Spread your fingers nice and wide underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Feel the connection between the earth and your shin bones. Exhale, round up through your back. And inhale, arch through your back. And then you're going to walk your hands to the left side of your mat so that you create a curve in your spine. And here you're just going to lean back. So inhale, lean forward. And exhale, lean back so that you're lengthening the right side of your body. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lean back and increase that curve. And then come back to center. Let's walk over to the right side of your mat. So you're creating a C curve in your spine the other way. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lean back. Breathe in forward. Breathe out. Lean back. Breathe in forward. Breathe out, lean back. And you're relaxing and sinking into the movement. And then come back to the center. This time you're going to walk your hands over to the left side of the mat again. You're gonna inhale, open your right arm up, and then rotate, lower your right shoulder to the ground down by your left knee. And you're coming in to thread the needle here. Inhale and come up. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. And then you'll inhale, rotate up. And then rotate, lower your left shoulder down to the mat. So you're in thread the needle on the other side. Spine is in a rotation. Back of your neck is long. And relax and settle into this pose. And then you're going to rotate open. And from here, we're going to come into downward facing dog. So you'll come back to all fours. And we're going to um, 
exhale, come into downward facing dog. And in downward facing dog, even here we can have calm and steadiness and friendliness towards ourselves as we come into some variations in downward facing dog. Okay, so you could do mm, you could do this against the wall or you could kind of vary this from cat pose. We're going to start by taking your right leg up and behind you. Drop your left sit bone and then open your right hip. And then you're going to take your right foot to the outside of your left hand. And then bring it back. Let's just take a little break before we do the other side. Maybe rest in child's pose, or you can sit in hero's pose. And then let's do the other side. So you're going to come into Downward facing dog, and remember, even here we can have steady, calm, attention, and a gentle friendliness in our bodies. And take your left leg back and up. Open your left hip. And then take your left foot to the outside of your right hand. And then we're going to rest again, either in child's pose or hero's pose. Okay, so for your next pose, you're going to need your blocks or a chair. A chair is nice, very nice, because it uh, lifts the ground quite a bit. So you're going to take the blocks here in front of you, and then you're going to place your right foot between the blocks. And what you're going to do is turn your left toes under, and straighten out both legs. And I want you to really settle into your legs. Turn your left toes out. Slowly settle into your legs. And then you're going to drop your right sit bone. And you're going to open up on your, you're going to open up your left arm all the way up. So in this pose, your, your left arm is going to come straight in line with your right arm. This is like one of the only poses where my frozen shoulder shows up still because I don't have external rotation all the way through my left arm. So if that is the, if, so you're going to, you'll see on the other side how, you know how to do triangle pose. But if you don't, then um, if you have an issue with your shoulder, here's the modification, you're going to tuck it behind. But feel the steadiness and the calmness in your legs. 
let go and open up through your chest and your arms, your upper body. And then you're going to lower it down and place your left hand on the block. Drop your left hip and we'll open, we'll do a revolve triangle here. And you're gonna let go and open again. Settle back into your legs and open again. And then let's come to the center. You can move the blocks over to the other side. Turn your toes, face the long edge of your mat and come into a wide-legged standing forward fold. Again, feel the steadiness of your legs and let go through your upper body. And then you're going to turn your left toes out, your right toes in. You're going to use those blocks again. Pause here. Feel the steadiness in your legs. And once you feel the steadiness in your legs, then you can rotate open through your upper body. And then you're going to turn back down, drop your right hand down, right hip down, turn towards your right hip, and you're going to do the revolve triangle here. Find that steadiness in your legs, let go again, and open again. And then you'll come back to center, turn your toes towards the front of your long edge of your mat, roll your pelvis over your leg bones and fold forward.